Now, when it comes to medical card, there are these three things that people always got confused. I want to address it today. Okay, we, before we talk about the features, which is um, these are the more important, significant features of a medical insurance, uh, namely co-insurance, co-payment, and deductible. Uh, how does it work? Okay, <laughs> let us um, look at this deductible term first. Yeah, for this, uh, we go one by one. Now deductible, yeah, I highlighted in red here. Deductible. Uh, how does deductible works? Okay, see. I give a very simple example <clears throat> for working people, all right? Working people, especially those under employment. Now, we very likely your know, company will provide, okay? Will um, provide uh, so called your insurance coverage, group term, okay? Group term company coverage. And uh, there is an annual limit to your medical company medical insurance, right? Right? So, Normally, it's like you probably don't feel it, but it is being deducted. It, it's, it has an annual limit. So let's say your annual limit is 15,000. You see the y axis here, 15,000 eh? 15, a year. So your company say that uh, HS limit by your employer, meaning that anything more than 15,000, you are not covered. You need to fall on your own. The company, the insurance company of your company, will bill you back. For this sooner or later right so and then after 15,000 okay after 15,000 limit so normally on the blue uh, on the blue section here you need to cover on your own but if you have uh, a medical card what we call as a second medical card right mm. um, a second medical policy uh, to actually when you cover buy it this. on your own when you buy it on your own right that's what you mean yeah you buy it on your own you cover okay. it on your own so that will be on a reimbursement basis here, yeah? mm. normally. So there's a no medical card on this portion, 15 to 65K. Okay, there's no medical card on this portion. But there is a policy that um, you can buy on your own, you cover. That means you pay first, you still pay first, but you can re get a reimbursement from the insurance company. If you have this so-called uh, 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 deductible or second medical card. Now this 15k is dependent on your company, right? Some company may have very good one. They have per annum, they might have 50k of coverage. Some company, maybe local company, they have my 10k or 15k per annum. So you check this. And if you have something like this, you just cover the second portion on your own. And it's relatively cheap because the medical card that you buy on your own will not be covering your medical bill from zero under 15k, is it? Because you're assuming that you either cover yourself or your company cover that already, man. Mm -hmm. So you save some cost on that, lah. And why I want to say that is because a lot of people will say, "Hey, my company got cover, uh. got medical card, uh. Why should I buy one? Redundant, man, right? Have you encountered yeah. people like this before, Casey? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So people say redundant. So um, and what what I say that this probably is a uh, option for you, uh. Okay, for is an option for you. Now the second thing is I want to address is when you are retired at my website you'll find online financial seminars which is my call webinars I do it regularly and also a lot of uh, online investment and financial courses which is conducted solely online so I'll be waiting for you at my website at kclau.com I wish you have a great day Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.